Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, July 17th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 563 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, got a crush on you with Guli Naja and Xu Kaicheng, raps filming. Huang Po plays a big shot actor who recites numbers on set. This is in reference to a segment I did last episode. Leo Wu wipes Zhao Lu's tears after she screams at the top of her lungs in a behind the scenes video from Love Like the Galaxy. And a follow-up to last episode's Zhang Zhehan segment, it was Screen Magazine that selected him Best Overseas Actor. And we'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. We usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today in the last few days, so we begin with imminently premiering dramas. Guo Summer is an upcoming modern drama and it's confirmed a July 18th premiere, that's tomorrow. According to Baidu, it stars Huang Lei as Zhang Weiguo, a happy middle-aged actor in a Peking opera troupe. When his father suddenly passes away, he decides to make some major changes in his life. Liu Yijun co-stars as one of his good friends who works at a TV station. Guo Summer is slated for 12 episodes and will premiere on Mango TV. Another drama that's confirmed its premiere date is A Love Never Lost, starring Li Xian and Jesse Lee. The Republican era drama shared a new trailer in this post to announce that it premieres on July 18th as well. The drama follows five patriotic youths whose fates are intertwined as they play their parts in the 1911 revolution. Here is Li Xian as an ambitious and educated noble who's recently returned from Japan. And here's Jesse Lee as a forward-thinking noble who's trying to escape an arranged marriage. A Love Never Lost is slated for 40 episodes and will premiere on iQIYI. I'll update again on where to watch with English subs after it premieres. That's it for imminently premiering dramas. Moving on, Drama Rats. Got a Crush on You stars Guli Naja and Xu Kaicheng, and on July 15th, the drama officially shared photos of their rap. Here are the two stars looking photogenic. It's unclear how long their film shoot was, but the drama was just announced last month. They also recently released a new batch of character posters. According to Douban, the drama follows a romance between a dancer, played by Guli Naja, and a man, played by Xu Kaicheng, described as, quote-unquote, too dangerous. Guli Naja was last in 2021's The Dance of the Storm with William Chan, whereas Xu Kaicheng was last in the recently aired Ordinary Greatness with Zhang Rouyun and Bai Lu. This next segment, I want to follow up on something I talked about in my last episode regarding actors reciting numbers on set. In my last episode, I talked about award-winning actress Ching Hai Lu having no patience for actors who didn't have their lines memorized. I also touched on how rumors were rife not so long ago about certain actors not memorizing their lines and instead just showing up on set and counting from 1 to 10 and then letting the overdubbing take care of the dialogue. Well, I want to thank Quinlan K, who is a patron on my Patreon, for commenting on the video saying, I'm not sure if you've seen this, but it is the perfect example of an actor counting numbers. Starts at 418 to get the full plot, counting begins about 850. Quinlan K shared a YouTube link to a scene in episode 4 of the 2021 drama Crossroad Bistro. It is a slice of art imitating life, and it's hilarious. In the scene, Huang Po plays a big shot actor who's in a rush, so he doesn't even read the script. Instead, an assistant holds up a sign off camera saying how many words his portion of the dialogue has and Huang Po just recites the numbers accordingly. Meanwhile, the actress he's acting with, played by Lan Yingying, is acting the heck out of the scene and being a pro. Huang Po even gets praise and a huge thumbs up from the director, who's played by Feng Xiaogang, who in real life is a highly respected filmmaker. 
The satirical scene made me laugh and totally made my morning. So if you guys want to check it out, again, it's episode 4 of Crossroad Bistro. It is on YouTube, and the hilarity begins at around the 8 minute mark. Thanks again, Quinlan K. By the way, I think Huang Bo is a great comedic actor. One of his upcoming projects is the movie One and Only, in which he stars with Wang Yibo. Next up for drama updates, Love Like the Galaxy released a behind the scenes clip last week, and I found it kind of funny, but also at the same time I felt kind of bad for Zhao Lu Si. Love Like the Galaxy stars Leo Wu and Zhao Lu Si. The Tencent costume drama premiered on July 5th, and recently has been topping web drama charts. In the behind the scenes video, Leo Wu's character is teaching Zhao Lu Si's how to ride a horse. The two are riding across a giant blue screen, when Zhao Lu Si is heard screaming at the top of her lungs, saying, Hold on! When they finally stopped, she was in tears and exclaimed, It was too scary! She looked genuinely petrified, as Leo Wu helped dry her eyes with a tissue. When a crew member informed them that they had recorded the shot, Zhao Lu Si seemed surprised. Apparently, she wasn't even aware that they were rolling. She thought the horse had gone rogue and wasn't letting them off. The director thought Zhao Lu Si was actually acting and was super impressed with her, saying it was very real. Later, as she was getting makeup touches, she revealed that she had not heard them yell action and thought the horse had gone nuts. Then she turned to Leo and said she wondered why he was so calm, to which he replied with a hearty laugh, because I was acting. It was all under my control. In the end, they all gathered around to watch a playback and shared a good laugh. Glad they were able to laugh about it in the end. Just a quick note, screaming at the top of your lungs, probably not a good idea if you want to get a horse to calm down. By the way, Love Like the Galaxy's initial Douban rating came in over the weekend. When I checked yesterday, the drama had an average 7.4 rating out of over 85,000 ratings. Not too shabby. That's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates. And I want to again follow up on something I mentioned in my last episode. This one has to do with the Zhang Zhehan segment. In my last episode, I talked about how Zhang Zhehan was awarded Best Overseas Actor in a Japanese magazine, but that there had been no mention as to what magazine it was. Well, some of you in the know left comments on the video, and I wanted to show one of them. It's from Koroku Gurume, pardon the pronunciation if I got it wrong, who says, 15 hours late in my comment. It was in Screen, July edition. He beat out Cumberbatch, who was number one four years in a row and the first time a Chinese actor placed first. This news was posted on Twitter back in May. Gong Jun was number 8. This magazine was on sale on Amazon Japan with Obi-Wan Kenobi on the cover. Thank you so much for your news about him. Thank you for your comment, Koroku. So there it is, the Japanese magazine is screen. I tried looking it up but could not find an online version of it, but I did find this on eBay. A hard copy of their July 2022 edition with, as Koroku described, Obi-Wan Kenobi on the cover. And in the description of the post, it does say, announcement of the results of the 8th Overseas Drama Awards. Here's a screenshot of one of the pages as well. As you can see, Word of Honor is up here. So make of all that what you will, if you want to hunt down a copy of that edition, at least now you know where to start. Next up for celebrity updates, a Weibo post from Del Raba and Yang Yang's side each got shippers excited. July 26, 2022 will be the first premiere anniversary of last summer's hit drama You Are My Glory starring Yang Yang and Del Raba. Recently, the two stars' studios shared posts on their respective Weibo accounts. This one's from Del Raba's side, who reshared one of Del Raba's personal posts in which she showed her outfit of the day, a casual black tee with sunglasses. Their caption was, A fun outfit of the day is added again. Today is cool girl, with the cool in an emoji. A few days later, Yang Yang's side shared this, pictures of him in a casual black tee, casual shorts, and a hat. Their caption was, Today is cool bro with the cool in the same emoji Del Raba's side used. 
Well, this of course got Yang Yang and Del Raba shippers excited. According to media outlet Wa, they left comments on social media like, Cool CP, who's living it? Thank you, boss, for making me crazy today. And I don't know if they're an item or not, but their studios must be together. And that's it for celebrity updates. Moving on, it's Sunday today, so time for the top 10 Chinese dramas of the week, edition 130, July 17th, 2022. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. Out of Court, the modern drama stars Xiaoyu and Luo Jing. Number 9, Night of Love With You, the modern drama stars Liu Xianing and Guan Yue. Number 8, Big White Duel Season 2, the modern drama stars Roger Kwok and Kenneth Ma. Number 7, Hidden Edge, the modern drama stars Sun Xun and Meng Li. Number 6, To Be a Brave One, the modern drama stars Deng Jiajia and Darren Chen. Number 5, The Lord of Losers, the modern drama stars Li Jiahang and Chen Guo. Number 4, Love the Way You Are, the modern drama stars Angela Baby and Lai Guanling. Number 3, Babel, the modern drama stars Qin Junjie and Deng Jiajia. Number 2, A Dream of Splendor, the costume drama stars Crystal Liu and Chen Xiao. And number 1, Love Like the Galaxy Part 1, the costume drama stars Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi. Love Like the Galaxy is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 601 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Hasty Youth, the modern drama stars Li Jiahang and Deng Jiajia. Number 9, For Truly Great Men, the Republican era drama stars Hou Jingjian and Li Naiwen. Number 8, Da Shan's Daughter, the modern drama stars Yang Rong and Liu Yuqun. Number 7, Nice to Meet You Again, the modern drama stars Qing Dong and Li Xiaoran. Number 6, Ordinary Greatness, the modern drama stars Zhang Ruoyun and Bai Lu. Number 5, Mam Wow, the modern drama stars Kitty Zhang and Li Zifeng. Number 4, Infidelity in Marriage, the modern drama stars Sun Li and Yuan Wen Kang. Number 3, Hello My Shining Love, the modern drama stars Zhou Chen and Jing Han. Number 2, Dr. Tang, the modern drama stars Qing Lan and Wei Dashun. And number one, The Story of Xing Fu, the modern drama stars Xiao Li Ying and Liu Wei. The Story of Xing Fu ends the week with 612 points, making it champion for the first time since its premiere. So there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.